Assalamualaikum. Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing well during this pandemic. My name is Azul Shah Azman and I'm study at UITM campus Bandaraya Melaka. Today, I'm going to talk about how to remain productive while working at home. So, let's go. First is morning self-care. Do you cram as much work as you can into your mornings? If you do, it might be hurting your productivity. When you start your grind right after you wake up, you are more likely to feel lazy and burnt out in the middle of the day. So, try to find a morning routine that balances productivity and self-care. Remember that you want to end your morning feeling motivated, not frustrated or exhausted. Second is plan your time slots. Are you the kind of person that constantly checks their email or maybe you can't spend 5 minutes apart from your phone? If you are, there is a good chance that your habits are stopping your productivity in its tracks. Luckily, there is an easy solution. Instead of obsessing about your emails and messages, just create a few time slots throughout the day. Well, that's all you do. Set aside all your other work and focus solely on responding to emails, answering messages, and returning phone calls. As you get in the habit of using time slots, you will find yourself less and less worried about checking your phone because you know you will see it when your next time slot rolls around. Third is aiming for the middle. Lazy people are not the only ones who struggle with productivity. You have an amazing work ethic, yet you still have a hard time getting anything done. Why is that? Well, because you are spending way too long on each individual project. You are trying to make everything you do turn out perfect, but that's not only impossible, it's also a gigantic waste of time. So, how much effort should you put into your work? How do you know when enough is enough? To gauge your stopping point, think about the minimum amount of work you could do to finish that project. Now, think about the absolute maximum. Your goal should be to shoot somewhere in the middle that way you are going above and beyond without wasting too much of your energy on one job. Fourth is prune your commitments. Sometimes, your own generosity stands in your way. You want to help everyone and you want to say yes to everything. But you end up with so much on your plate that you run out of time to focus on yourself. To give your productivity a boost, try to shave off at least one commitment every week. If you did 10 favors this week, well then, the next week do 9, then 8, and then 7. That way, you can prioritize your own responsibilities before handling someone else's. Fifth is cherish your downtime. Downtime is an important part of being productive. Even though you are not getting work done, spending time with your family keeps you mentally stable. It gives you an opportunity to recharge and to gear up for another productive day. No one can be proactive and efficient all the time, so don't take your downtime for granted. Last but not least is end on a high note. When is the best time to stop working? Most people try to drain their brain before they leave for the day but the most productive people in their day on a high note. You should stop working when you are feeling inspired and full of ideas. Why? Well, because it gives you direction for tomorrow. From the moment you come into work, you will know exactly what to do next. Instead of feeling hesitant or confused, you can jump right back into the action. So, that's all from me. Thank you so much and Selamat Hari Raya. Maaf saya dan batin. Hi, I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have, patience. Sometimes patience is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. Then you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? <laughs>